Okay, headers, here's the program that I use. It's um, iPhoto. This is iPhoto 06. I've got 6, 8, and 9. doesn't matter. This gives you a basic idea how iPhoto works. And it's, it's an excellent program. I really suggest looking at it. And here it goes. Welcome to the 5-Minute Lesson. My name is Alex Reyes. And in this series of lessons, I'm going to be covering Apple's iPhoto version 6. Now, the reason I'm covering iPhoto version 6, even though it's an older version, is that because not many people out there can afford to uh, upgrade to the latest uh, versions of iPhoto, and some people like to use older versions of iPhoto. And my school district, we still have lots of machines that are running the older versions of iPhoto, and which include iPhoto 6. So a lot of the teachers and students need to know how to use this version of iPhoto, so I decided to go ahead and create these lessons using this older version of iPhoto, but if you have one of the newer versions of iPhoto, like iPhoto 08 or 09, you can go over to those lessons and see those video tutorials and learn how to use iPhoto 08 and iPhoto 09. Now, as part of my lessons here, I will be offering you some uh, visual uh, demonstrations of what I'm doing, and part of what I'm doing is I'm offering some visuals that demonstrate the keys that I will be pressing during the lessons. As an example, when I press the command key, you're going to be you're going to see this symbol appear on your screen. When I press the option key, you'll get this symbol appear, which looks like an escalator. When I press the control key, you get this symbol, which looks sort of like a tent. When I press the shift key, you'll see this symbol, and you may see other symbols during the process of me demonstrating the uh, the lessons to you. So. Keep those in mind. Look for those uh, keyboard shortcuts as they pop up here, and I'll, I can also do them in combination. Look for those, and they will help you understand which keys I'm pressing at the time to uh, generate the result for the lesson. As you can see, these are in my iTunes, and I've got all the lessons already pre-recorded. So. Let's see what we've got here. Well, we'll go to two. For iPhoto, I'm going to be covering digital cameras and some of the things that iPhoto works with. Now, iPhoto is designed to catalog all your images from your digital camera. And digital cameras come in a variety of flavors, from simple point-shoot cameras all the way up to professional cameras like Nikon and Canon. And no matter which form, which camera you use, iPhoto will be able to recognize the images that you take with that camera and help you catalog and organize those pictures. Uh, in your computer. So how does that do that? Well, I most cameras, or the majority of cameras, will take pictures in a, in a format called JPEG, which is J-P-E-G. That's... Let's change that. Go up around five, see what he's got. You will be able to look at the information that is related to each image. Now, down at the bottom, left-hand corner, there are several buttons down here, and one of them has a circle and an eye in it, and that one will give you the information, if you click on it, for an image, and it will pop open this dialog box. You can control the size of this dialog box by clicking right in here and dragging up and down when you see the opposing arrows here. So I'm going to go ahead and just increase the size of the... Okay, that, that's enough of that. But you can see what is available. I go to iTunes, and I'll go to the iTunes store. Once that comes up. And then I go to Podcasts up here. And in Podcasts, I'll look for iPhoto. And if you look for iPhoto, you can see which ones are free and which ones cost money. Of course, I don't get the uh, free uh, the ones that pay, so I check for K-12. You can see different ones. You just have to check around and see, but you can scroll around and see which one. iPhoto there might be good, how to find out photos, so and subscribe. Uh, you just subscribe like that. Find out how I photos. So you can get also you can get in here and you can go to iTunes University, which a lot of people don't know about. And you can also get all kinds of information through iTunes University.
which is uh, something else that you want to get in the store. And you can get that through the podcast. It's just something that you want to look around. Audio, video podcasts. So there's a lot of training tutorials in here that you can look at. You just have to sort of explore. I go up here and I, I put iPhoto tutorial. See what happens. And there we go there. So there's one there, Pennsylvania State University. iPhoto. This guy's good here. This iTunes with Fun with Alex. I've got a lot of his stuff. So you can see there's lots of places on the internet to get information. I iPhoto is like Apple's that. digital imaging application. It comes as part of the consumer level iLife suite of applications, though it should not be thought of as only a basic photo editing app. iPhoto enables you to import images from your digital camera, crop, rotate, reduce red eye, and apply filters like black and white and sepia. It also enables you to create albums and slideshows that you can then output as movies to iMovie and iDVD. For the professional or intermediate photographer, iPhoto also offers a great place to import and organize your images before sending them out to an application like Photoshop or Illustrator. To begin using iPhoto, click its icon on the dock iPhoto will launch, and since it's the first time we've used it, it will open with a blank library. To begin importing your images, connect your USB or FireWire camera to your computer and turn it on. So as you can see, there's lots of information here. It's just a matter of searching around. If you need any more information, just email me and I'll uh, get you some more stuff where I can help you uh, learn whatever you want to learn. So anyways, keep in touch and we'll get this